Next up, we have Dr. Bishal Tap, Tapa and Ms. Helen Scott, who will be telling us about their exciting work and vision at Raytheon BBM. Uh, can we please play their video? Hello, everyone. My name is Bishal Tapa and uh, my colleague, Helen Scott. I'm from a tactical data networks group at BBN and Helen is from a synthetic biology group. Today, we are here to propose a concept uh, of Celeste, a community environment for learning eco science via testbed experiments. So we're thinking of a research net, kind of like what BBN did back in the day for DARPA, called ARPANET that ultimately became internet. And what we do today uh, for DOD, where we build something called a mosaic internet or tactical internet, where we're delivering the information to the tactical users uh, in the forward operating areas. And we believe that this work and experience can be reapplied to the challenges that we are discussing today uh, for in this workshop, uh, Smart Oceans workshop. Next slide. So our background is um, you know, building this uh, kind of multi-domain heterogeneous network or network of networks, uh, which is called internet, where the idea is all these sensors, they need to be able to collect data, share with every other node in the network, be it from space, undersea, or aerial, and then be able to compose them so that you can have a common operating picture so that somebody who is acting on that information to either deploy certain assets or take some action, they could do that. So the whole concept is to be able to have a scalable network, uh, which actually has some deadlines. So every you know, step of the way, you need to know that the messages have a utility. And if you're delivering that you know, beyond the deadline, then it has no value. So in the bottom left, you see, this is a simple you know, vi vision or the version of that internet, the tactical internet. The architecture looks uh, kind of like in the right, it's very generic. You have the management and command and control function. Then you have this information management, the heterogeneous information management. And then how do you disseminate them where the idea is it's just subscribers and producers, producers not like IP addresses that we think of in the internet so that somebody you know, needs an uh, information could get it in time and somebody who produces it can deliver it to the network in time. And then ultimately all these sensors from various domain uh, do their job. Uh, to cover a certain area or a certain domain. So I think the problem that we're discussing today in the smart ocean is very similar, maybe a little bit different data model, maybe a slower timeline, maybe we'll be using resource vehicles and academic sensors instead of DOD sensors. But I believe that the idea that you can get the right information to the right user in the right time while being able to prove the provenance so that you know where the raw data came from, I think this is really useful for this community and we hope that uh, BBN can contribute there. Uh, let me pass this off to my uh, colleague, Helen, now. Thanks, Vishal. So just like Vishal said, you have these multi-domain network of networks of sensors. And so that's something we also see in ecological research. So instead of using those DOD sensors or different deployed missions there, we'd be using uh, the academically supplied sensors. So here we'd be using remote sensing data off of satellites, aerially collected data from planes or drones, ship-based data, things from buoys or moorings, autonomous vehicles underwater, or gliders and floats, and even human collected data where you could be bringing in biological data from the lab and from the bench top that you then want to get into this network so that other people can access it. And so when you have this multi-domain network, you're able to correlate things that you would have been able, able to collect yourself. So here you're able to see multiple types of data and connect things across the globe and much larger spatial and time scales, which we think would be really important for a problem like this. So you could just imagine a single student using this to retrieve a little bit of data to supplement their own research or much larger problems for ecological forecasting or something that really needs high demands of data at very fast time scales where you're needing lots and lots of data, but you can't collect it all yourself. So here you're able to do this thanks to all the interoperability and provenance that Bishal's architecture gives you, along with the named data query, which makes it very easy for the scientists to access. So this is something we're really, really excited about. And BBN has expertise in a lot of these fields. We have expertise in networking and communications with people like Bashal. We have a lot of expertise with artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithms. There's an entire DARPA project we've been performers on about building this automated pipeline for non-experts like ecologists to build and test different machine learning algorithms. We've worked with data management to bring in those legacy data sets um, so that you can get that really long time scale, uh, especially important ecological data. And we also have a synthetic biology group, which
which does a lot of DNA analysis, including on eDNA. So we are looking for partners, other people who are interested in these types of problems with expertise in marine robotics, remote sensing, and people who are doing that sampling out in the field. Thank you. Very impressive. Uh, thank you very much.